So, Jessica, you having a good time? Uh, sure. Are we picking up anyone else? <laughs> hey, I'm in love and I don't care. Nitsky's mine and I don't share. <laughs> That's what you think. He's mine. I'm going to marry Mr. Nitsky and we're going to live in my plantation. Fiddle dee dee. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. No. If you don't quit fighting back there, I'm gonna turn this car around and none of you are gonna get to see Mr. Nitsky. And I mean it. <laughs> Parents. <laughs> Going, Mrs. C, Mr. B. Look, there's Mr. D. Let me guess, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. And you are Howdy Doody? No, I'm the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah. I hope the wizard comes through with that kidney, dude. <laughs> uh, listen, Jessica. I'm sorry about the ride over here. You have family. I'm sure the same things happen to you. <laughs> my mom, my aunt, and my little sister having the hots for Mr. Nitsky? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky? You're even cuter than Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Isn't he the Secretary of State under President McKinley? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nitsky, uh, we can't stand the suspense. You're going to have to choose one of us. Okay. I picked Judy. We well, might have thought it over for a second. <laughs> hey, are you talking to me? You're the one made of hay. <laughs> Man, Nitsky's falling for your mom. We gotta do something. That's not a very convincing ghost. Hey, I'm dead. How much more convincing can it get? Before I met you, there was only one woman in my life. America. And I had to share her with immigrants. You won't have to share me with anyone. Fighting soldiers from the sky. Fearless men who jump and die. Please don't stop. Men who mean just what they say. Uh. The brave men of the Green Beret. <laughs> There's a couple over there dancing closer than 18 inches apart. Dirty dancing. I have to do my duty, Judy. Keep those overheated rabbits apart. Will you wait for me? I'd wait an eternity. I don't think it'll take that long. Man, it'll leave you like you're nothing. Katie, I think you've had enough grape juice. I'll tell you when I've had enough. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky, I know my mom really likes you, but there's something you've got to know. What's that? She needs a man who's going to commit. And it's a heavy commitment. You know, two kids, a mortgage, uh, gambling debts. <laughs> Not to mention. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Well, boys, I'm a bit of a gambling man myself. And I'm about to take the biggest gamble of my life. Excuse me, son. Son? Oh, man. I let my best bud down. Now, Marty, it's not as bad as it seems. Hetty, hey, you look great. Are you on Fen Fen? Oh, Marty, Marty, Marty. You're gonna lecture me now, aren't you? First, I'm going to do something I've waited 30,000 years to do. Oh. <laughs> hey, I've got legs, and I know how to use them. Hello, remember me? Uh, sorry. Now, Marty, when you used those arrows, you went too far. No one should meddle with the affairs of the heart. Look, I get the picture. I screwed up Royal. Can't you forgive me on Halloween? The holiest of nights. I just want to make sure you've learned something from all this. I have. Arrows don't make people love each other. Money does. Money? You think Jackie Kennedy married Onassis for his looks? Um, he, uh, just promise you won't use those stupid arrows anymore. I won't. Fine. I will now reverse the spell for you.
There. Cupid's power is null and void. Oh, thanks, Ed. I suppose now you're gonna yell at me some more? There'll be time for that tomorrow. But tonight, we mambo. <laughs> Good news, man. The spell's broken. Your mom's not in love with Nitsky anymore. Oh, thanks, man. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Hey, I'm your pal. I couldn't let you have Nitsky walking around your house in his underwear. <laughs> <sighs> uh, attention, students. My father once said to me, real men don't cry, don't show emotion. And he'd just lost his foot to the snowblower, so he was as good as his word. <laughs> but I want to say... Judy Beauchamp, will you marry me? No. <laughs> no? It's me, Roderick Nitsky. I know. No. Very well, then. Students, you may uh, go on with your merriment. Go ahead, make fun of me. I'm not going to make fun of you. You're not? No, I thought what you did up there was really kind of sweet. You did? Yeah. Thank you. I'm uh, glad I didn't shoot you when I had the chance. I hear that all the time now at the post office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to dance? Sure. Do you mind? No. I think it's groovy. Hey, yeah. Looks like you're gonna get your license. All right. Yeah. Let me get this straight. You abandoned me so you can dance with yourself? Uh, I'm sorry, Jessica. If I only had a brain. You're cute. Hey, you wanna dance? Sure. Toto too? Toto too. <laughs> Hey, shortcake. Want to cut a rug with the fonts? Hey. <laughs> hey, Whiskers. Care to dance? Thanks. I'd love to. You're very light on your feet. <laughs> hey, Katie, more trick-or-treaters. You want to get that? Why I wore this costume? This is Halloween. I should be scary. <laughs> Oh, sure. Blame the guy with the magic powers. 